welcome to In the Studio. Today, I'm your host, Emily Merton, and I have two talented UC Davis students joining me to talk about the UC Davis Film Festival for 2016. Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Yeah, thank you very much. So um, to start out, why don't we just introduce ourselves. Um, so do you want to introduce yourself and tell me um, your role in the making of the UC Davis Film Festival? Okay, so my name is David. Um, I am a third year UC Davis undergrad student. Um, I think officially my title is um, assistant producer, um, but basically I manage the social media aspects of um, film festival, outreach, marketing, things like that. Great, yeah. that's important. That's how you get your audience, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, um, what about you? Uh, I'm Evan Lilly, and I'm an associate producer. I'm currently a senior, and I've been going to UC Davis for about three years now. I've taken on a, a variety of responsibilities. Most of them have been involving uh, the production of some of our promotion material, as well as a, a trailer that we're currently creating. And I've also been uh, assisting with the creation of a, a separate event in which we hope to promote the festival. Awesome. So uh, what kind of films are featured in this? Is it students from UC Davis? Or what, is it local films or what? Now, all of them are from uh, UC Davis students. Awesome. So all of them within a certain department? Or is it just anyone who wants to participate can? No, oh, it's uh, all, all UC Davis students. So uh, we do mostly get students that are uh, directly involved with film, but it's actually opened up to pretty much everyone. We've actually seen uh, as we've actually seen students uh, work who work in agricultural studies, and they've actually managed to make some really great material. That's so awesome. So it's pretty much uh, open to anyone who wants to work with a camera. Great. So basically, you target. Do you find the people, David, for the film to provide you the films, or do you just uh, try to? bring people in to watch the films? So we do um, outreach during like um, some of the club events um, where all the clubs on campus gather together and we try to make ourselves um, present. Um, but, but we don't um, we don't go up to individual people and mm -hmm. be like, hey, let's submit a film. But we do like just mass marketing. Um, and then uh, whoever submits a film will just um, take it. So there's no like. Um, restriction or anything like that. Yeah. Great. How many submissions do you usually get? Do you get a lot and do you have to narrow it down usually? And who chooses the films? I want to say ab about 50 films. Um, and usually it's the faculty that goes in and watches all the films and they will nominate um, the different categories and awards. There's also going to be an audience choice award and also a crew's favorite choice award. Um, so yeah, mainly it's faculty just because um, we might know the, the people making the mm -hmm. film and we might become biased when making a decision. So we want to try to keep it as impartial as possible. That makes sense. Yeah. When is this film festival? It's going to be in uh, May uh, 18th and 19th. Great, of 2016? Yes. Awesome. So oh, there is a, uh, the submission is actually uh, in uh, April 22nd because there needs to be a certain time when we can all... Uh, select the films mm -hmm. and also make sure that they'll be able to be seen on the theater correctly because mm -hmm. there's a lot of different technical aspects that go in from uh, making a small digital film that one might see on a computer to something that someone would actually project onto a major theater screen mm -hmm. and it's a very different experience for for the students mm -hmm. where is the um, film festival held this year or next year uh, traditionally it's at the uh, davis varsity theater in the downtown region how do you get the varsity theater do you have to fundraise for it to kind of, do you have to, what we, do you do? Yeah, we do a lot of fundraising, um, but mainly the tickets um, pay for themselves. Um, so we do rent the venue, um, and then the ticket sales, a big portion of it goes to the rental um, of the area. Great, how much are tickets? Um, for now, uh, I wanna say that the first night is $7, and then if you wanna buy both nights, um, Thursday and Friday, that's $10. Great, so it's a better deal to go to both. Yes, and I think once yes. you go to one, you'll probably want to go to both, right? Definitely. So you can vote on your favorite and stuff. Yeah. Sounds mm -hmm. like a fun experience. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys get to watch the films before the film festival? Um, I think our head producer gets to watch it. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think after the faculty decides which films are actually going to be screened, then we all watch it. Mm -hmm. But um, before that, we don't watch every single submission. Um, the faculty does that. All right, so 
Yeah, that's great. So what do you guys do to um, kind of get it all put together? How many people are involved in the making of this film festival? Well, uh, initially it actually starts uh, 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 somewhat small. We only needed the, uh, started off with the head producer, uh, several, a few associates, including me and uh, another talent student, a student named uh, uh, Crystal Jen. Mm -hmm. We've also worked with our technical director, uh, uh, Bobby Blanc. And uh, we've also worked with a few associates and uh, many faculty members. And we're also trying to collaborate with several different clubs as well. Awesome. How long have you guys each been involved in this? Is this your first year helping put it together? or? We were, I think I, we were pretty much involved right after the last year's festival. Oh, how many festivals? Is it annual? How many have you had? Well, it's uh, the uh, 16th, uh, well, the one we're going to be hosting in uh, 2016 will be the 16th festival. Wow. Uh, so is there a certain theme of types of films that you show, or is it any film? Well, um, mm. uh, any film, actually. Anything, yeah. So There's a really uh, big variety. Some have been uh, some of the traditional, like, uh, action uh, movies. And there's have been uh, documentaries about real personal things and also, like, major events, such as one documentary was actually about the use of uh, unmanned drones in the U.S. military. And then there were also a few uh, animation versions as well, such as things that were done by paper, and, some, and one even managed to win an award for making a Lego film. Wow, that's very cool. So for the categories of prize for like winners or whatever, do, do you put the Lego film up against the documentary and stuff and have people vote against those two? Or do you separate the categories as in documentary and action film? Well, I, well there are separate categories. They tend to change over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know exactly about a uh, Lego... The Lego is usually in a different category because I know not just Lego, it's also like the claymation, the paper mm -hmm. animation, and a lot of uh, digital animation as well. They tend to be in the category of animation, but it would be possible to blend those two if someone made a documentary animation. Yeah, that makes sense. But that's merely a speculation for now. And <laughs> we couldn't exactly say that before someone turns in the Lego documentary. A documentary on how to make a claymation. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> So what have you done to fundraise so far? Um, for this year, uh, we actually have a fundraiser coming up on Monday at Tebow in South Davis. Um, and that's actually going to be our first fundraiser for the year. Um, this So far, we've been working on a film screening and other trailer promotions. So we haven't gone around to fundraiser mm -hmm. quite that much yet. But we're hoping that um, once the new year begins, we'll be ramping it up a lot more. And then mainly it's going to be restaurant fundraisers um, and just yeah, local Davis, uh, whoever wants to support us. Yeah. That's great. So what social media outlets do you use to promote the film festival? Yeah, uh, we have Facebook, which is sort of a primary way to um, give updates to our fans, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, Instagram, we, we do sort of take pictures and videos. Um, of the events um, live, if we can. And then there's also our website, um, filmfestucd.com. That's more of the official announcements or submission page for people who want to get more involved. Um, and then, yeah, Vimeo and YouTube tends oh. to be the platform where we use to upload the winners after the film festival is completed. Mm -hmm. And great, Does, is it public? That, um, yes, so films yeah, after? everyone can um, watch it online. Yeah. That's great. What's your Instagram name for people who want to see more and your Facebook page? Instagram is um, at Filmfest UC Davis. Um, then Facebook is facebook.com slash Filmfest UCD. Okay. Do you think that social media has a big role in getting people to come to the film festival? Yeah, definitely. Cause, um, you can invite your friends to come, but that's one of the very big features of having an event on Facebook. And then um, it spreads very quickly, just because everyone will invite um, all the friends and classmates to come. And also because we can show all the photos and maybe some um, teaser videos online, and that gets like the excitement going. Great, that's definitely yeah. how I find out about things, basically yeah. entirely social media nowadays. Yeah. Uh, so what's your favorite aspect of being an associate producer? Well, I wouldn't, I don't know exactly what to say what my favorite part has been. Mm -hmm. 
but I do feel like there was a really great feeling about trying to uh, continue this tradition because some students have had wonderful times at the festival each year. And I wanted to try to actually well, make that again possible. And because I, I myself hadn't uh, been part of the festival for many years. I, I attended and didn't send anything in. And uh, I only sent something in last year. Actually, there were about, I was involved in three productions. And uh, after that, I decided to uh, uh, sign up for the next one. And we're trying to make it, well, better than ever. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what have you learned about being an associate producer for so many years? What will you do differently this year that you didn't do last year? Hmm. Well, I'm trying to write down some of those lessons. Yeah, keeping organized, mm -hmm. that's important. Yeah, so what about you? Have you, ga ha have you been participating for multiple years? Yeah, um, I started out last year, and this will be my second year as assistant producer. For me, the biggest thing is, um, because I'm an economics and stats major, not so much in the arts and um, performing arts area, so being in a film festival really exposes me to something totally different from my major. Yeah. And I really like the exposure to this art in general. And um, that's when meet different people, very talented you know, directors, producers, and actors. Um, and for me, it's just a very rewarding process. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you think there's anything that your major does help you with in regard to promoting? Mm, I guess in, in, a little bit in terms of communication. Mm -hmm. And um, I also do a little bit of the treasury. So um, like just organizing um, the money or getting statistics from our events, um, that's sort of, you know, intersecting with my major. Yeah, that makes sense. There's, it seems like there's a need for all different kinds of people in this, and it brings people together to, you know, watch films. Do you, so do you see mostly UC Davis students in coming to the film festival, or do, are there children, adults? Who comes? What's your audience? Well, typically it is mostly uh, students. Uh, we also get uh, plenty of the faculty, uh, students, families, and uh, uh, several members of the local community as well. Yeah, I think I'll definitely go. I had no idea about the film festival before, but as a high school student, I think I will definitely go and tell my friends about it because it sounds like an awesome experience. Are you guys really excited about this? Uh, well, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. How's it coming along? <laughs> well, so far we're uh, still working on uh, promotion material. And uh, we're also trying to work with plenty of other different uh, groups. And in fact, this year we're trying something new where we're trying to create a separate event to encourage participation in the film festival. Uh, we're trying to get all the other universities or the other UC campuses to submit some of their own works and uh, show some examples of the work they've done. That's so great. So possibly in the future, UC Davis could host a myriad of schools and creating a giant film <laughs> festival from all the UCs. I think that would be awesome. Well, yeah, we have thought about that, but we sort of want to keep it small for now. Yeah, for now. Yeah, so it's mainly just to try to encourage some of the students here. Yeah. But we will get to see a lot of talent from around the whole state. Yeah, Or totally. at least those few college campuses. That's great. Awesome. Um, I'm so glad that I've learned about this uh, newfound discovery of film festivals. I didn't know UC Davis even had one. You know, Davis doesn't seem very much like a hot spot for that. But now that we know about it, uh, I will definitely attend. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want to know more about the UC Davis Film Festival, you could visit their Facebook page, like was mentioned earlier, or their Instagram, or their website. What was that website again? Filmfestucd.com. All right, awesome. Thank you so much for joining me, David and Evan. Um, if you want to check out more of our videos online, you can go to dctv.davismedia.org or you could check us out on YouTube at Davis Media Access. Thank you so much. I was your host, Emily Merton, and I'll see you next time.